Hello, dear friends. Thank you for joining us. Today we will be talking about inflammation, what it actually is, and uh, how the fucus by jelly can help. So let's get started. Can you please tell us what inflammation is? Yes, sure. Uh, inflammation is general uh, response to the body to a certain irritant that gets inside while ingesting food uh, or coming in contact with or uh, once it gets in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it may not be a quick response. It may take a while before the person understands that inflammation is being manifesting because it may have been um, building up for a while and the person may not be aware of the inflammation even going on. So the inflammation, like I said, is the response of the body to a certain allergen. So uh, in other words, uh, inflammation is the body's allergic response to a certain allergen. Yes, of course. That's mm -hmm. what the inflammation is. Mm -hmm. uh, kids eating nuts, for example. Yes, that, that too, of course. Mm -hmm. that, uh, so what, what it means is that um, there's a very specific allergen that's already accumulated in the body system that um, somewhat resembles the uh, fragments of the DNA of that protein that is uh, causing this chronic allergen response within the body but may be uh, concealed and may be a very low rate going process. Uh, but at the time that the body comes into contact with the pro uh, protein molecules will uh, will trigger the same response um, and what it what it is is actually pollution inside the body mm -hmm. so that, in the uh -huh. case of adults it's very understandable that you know people for decades when they eat improper foods uh, foods that are difficult to digest uh, foods that leave a lot of residue a lot of uh, that cause a lot of stagnation uh, that cause uh, a lot of mucus uh, to accumulate in the body so this is understandable in the case of kids uh, why are they so prone to uh, allergic reactions to especially nuts it's um, that respond with the allergy to specific foods um, would mean that they have accumulated toxins inside, inside their system already from, from the breast milk of their mothers. And uh, just in general, the mother transferred to the child. Um, and when the child is born and begins the breastfeeding, this is uh, all the toxins and all those broken um, polypeptide molecule chains that are now stored within the pus in the cysts around the lymph nodes in the breast of the mother uh, is being sucked by the child, you know, with the breast milk, mm -hmm. and this is how toxins mm -hmm. really accumulate within mm -hmm. the child's body. Mm -hmm. And this pollution now is accumulating within the child's body, and this is actually how children begin being very allergic to substances uh, mm -hmm. as they grow, you know, and they continue sucking their breast milk, mm -hmm. then they develop the allergies, and this mm -hmm. is because they have uh, ingested mm -hmm. so much pollution with the mm -hmm. breast milk, that now they will be developing the allergies to the mm -hmm. substances mm -hmm. and uh, nuts in particular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and of course, we're not only talking about nuts, we're talking about all other kinds of allergens. Uh, being in the healthy uh, food business, in the uh, healthy living education for, uh, for about a decade now, we have seen a lot of people with allergies to apples and cilantro and parsley and carrots and, and all kinds of allergies. So, and what we are seeing over the years is that uh, with every generation and with every year actually, uh, more and more people develop all kinds of allergies and every subsequent, um, uh, subsequent generation is sicker than the previous. So this is part of the reason. Yeah. Uh, another uh, another flare of inflammation may be caused by the cleansing attempt. Uh, toxins will manifest; they will actually reveal themselves out of the depots uh, where they stored, uh, you know, out of the cysts and the cysts. Mm -hmm. The body will start working on that, you know, while being cleansed and uh, pulling the uh, antigens into the bloodstream. Actually, gives the flare up of the. Uh, inflammation or allergy mm -hmm. too. Correct. So this this is why people when they 
go on mm -hmm. cleansing foods, mm -hmm. they begin complaining of, you know, they're flaring up their inflammation mm -hmm. and things are beginning to happen, even though they are, you know, um, expecting different results, but, you know, mm -hmm. they're surprised to see the... Yes, but when the body's cleansing, isn't that what we want, right? So... <laughs> right, well, um, we, we want that, but, you know, what it comes mm -hmm. with may come unexpected. So sure, sure. So uh, mm -hmm. please uh, understand that even when you change your diet, when you're not specifically thinking that you're detoxing, for example, you go from standard American diet to uh, vegetarian diet or uh, more so vegan, when you switch to whole foods, plant-based eating, um, you, some people feel better right away, some people will, uh, will feel worse. And that's part of the cleansing, mm -hmm. detoxing process. So and now, even though pe mm -hmm. those people who feel better initially, they will definitely feel worse than later as they continue mm -hmm. with the detox. But there is yeah. a very popular saying, it gets worse before it gets better. Yeah, <laughs> Sometimes. very practical. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay, so now let's talk about uh, chronic inflammation. It may not be specific that the person is allergic to that substance initially. But with the continuous use of it, uh, you know that substance accumulates, mm -hmm. and it may start uh, it may start triggering the immune system. And the longer this uh, reaction is sustained of removal of pollution, uh, this causes the uh, uh, so to say um, glitch in the immune system, and the immune system then mm -hmm. begins to view it differently and respond to it differently. But um, but this pollution continues so to accumulate. Starts, the immune system starts stumbling, basically. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. right. Malfunctioning. Considering if there could be other factors along the way that mm -hmm. are also uh, stimulating and irritating the immune system, making it confused. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like if we were to look at what the modern day human beings do to their bodies, you know, their immune system is uh, truly abused. Mm -hmm. you know and it's amazing that with their bodies too. it's a, mm -hmm. it's amazing that our bodies with all the abuse can even last 70 years so well, yeah, <laughs> yes our years. bodies are amazing yes they're built to last at least 200 even, years even but with, with all the abuse, abuse yes the abuse, um mm -hmm. okay so uh what do you think and you know that because you know uh in your practice you have seen numerous people that come to you with uh, a list of uh, all the allergens um, that cause inflammation, supposedly cause inflammation in their body. And uh, we have a lot of people who come to us and they bring um, long, long lists of uh, everything, including kale and carrots mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and blueberries and whatnot. So what do you think about those tests that, uh, that give you that pr produce mm -hmm. th those lists of things to avoid for people. Wh why, yes. why is the list so long and why does it include uh, you know, some of the healthiest foods? And it begins to view uh, different substances that, are, that may have common uh, biochemistry uh, mm -hmm. as the same substances that are actually threatening it now. And it becomes, becomes, starts to respond to not only one that product but to another one to another mm -hmm. one and if we were to talk about specific animal products then it could be uh, like for example shellfish you know uh, it's not only to a specific one type of fish but then it could be to a different like to a whole spectrum of the seafood right that the allergy mm -hmm. can develop that resemble and confuse the immune system and provoke it to respond that way another uh, like I said another uh, layer of why it's flaring up is um, because in the attempt of cleansing the body, that's yes, that what, that's what to happens. That's going be my next yes. question. Uh, mm -hmm. In the attempt of uh, trying to cleanse the body, um, the body kind of perks up and begins to, it sees the opportunity mm -hmm. to get rid of the toxin. Exposure of toxins within the body does not go unnoticeable. It, it actually brings about those symptoms that these toxins caused when they were on the way in. When they were mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, causing the actual disease, but the, mm -hmm. you know, the person was, you know, overcoming that disease. And at the same time, all the residues and byproducts of all these reactions that were happening while disease was going on 
are not being eliminated completely, completely, mm -hmm. and they would have some kind of traces and maybe even quantum traces, you know, and quantum traces are significant too. So it's the specific quantum traces that may actually have that individual start craving specific foods, the toxins of which are now being exposed from tissue depots into the blood circulation, and the person having uh, perceived those toxins within blood circulation may now have the fantasies and desires of and, and distinct uh, sensation of of the previous tastes, of taste of previous foods and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and the traces of previous diseases, even, uh, you know, that are kind of um, resembling maybe in a very, in a slider, in a slider form, in a different form, but would still uh, cause that uh, person to remember the time that they were sick, uh, mm -hmm. you know, initially, that these symptoms would actually be resembling them. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, so um, would you agree with the recommendation to avoid those inflammation causing foods such as kale and, uh, and um, well, berries if, and things of like course, that? If, if the degree of response reaction or allergic mm -hmm. reaction to any of those food is obvious and is um, causing difficulty and challenges, mm -hmm. then of course we need to avoid them. Initially we need to mm -hmm. avoid them, but that should not limit us in the uh, understanding that we can actually overcome these allergies. And how would we overcome and them? And that's that's very important uh, question, how to overcome the allergy. This is a big uh, dilemma in the, in the medicine right now, how to heal from uh, autoimmune diseases, right? Yes. How to get rid of inflammation. Yes. So, and, and, so um, and okay, can you please give examples of uh, inflammation-based diseases? Uh, well, of course. Uh, you know, from like uh, asthma, for example, asthma is inflammation-based disease. Um, then um, eczema, for example. Um, then uh, arthritis. Right? Any disease that mm -hmm. is ending on the is itis. Itis mm -hmm. means mm -hmm. the inflammation is going on. If we're talking about gastritis or mm -hmm. um, pyelonephritis, mm -hmm. you yes. know. Those By the way, I have a personal. Um, success story of overcoming gastritis and esophagitis and mm -hmm. a whole uh, bunch of other different things just right. through eating properly. So that's mm -hmm. that's that is sh that shows mm -hmm. the process is going. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Um, what can you say about diabetes or cancer? Are they related to uh, toxin accumulation and? Um, uh, yes. Development of, of inflammation. Right. Uh, well, let's talk about diabetes. And diabetes may not initially uh, be very much related to inflammation, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, the whole like process of formation of diabetes then may also have the inflammation kind of uh, joining in this um, process. All of its um, dynamic of these diseases, like you know, uh, is really tangled up around. Uh, you know, like uh, improper nutrition mm -hmm. and toxin accumulation. Mm -hmm. And we will yes. do a separate um, uh, piece on uh, diabetes, diabetes mm -hmm. and, um, and, cancer. and cancer as well. But right. very, very briefly, maybe about cancer now. Well, of course. And, and the inflammation process mm -hmm. at the base of it. And cancer, yes, it is connected to inflammation, but inflammation is the, f is the first part of cancer, so mm -hmm. to say, right? It's like pre. Uh, it's like building the stage to cancer, you know, the inflammation is the first stage. Okay, so what can inflammation lead to? Um, inflammation is a you know, dangerous process in the long run, and it can really damage badly, if not taken care of um, as possible. It can lead to, for example, um, in, a, in a gastritis, uh, with a high acidity, the development of the ulcer may begin, the gastric ulcer, mm -hmm. and if the process is ongoing and the person doesn't really do much about it, then the ulcer deepens into the deeper layers of the stomach wall and uh, um, can actually um, penetrate through causing the perforation of the stomach into the abdominal area, uh, which can be uh, a very like life-threatening situation. Mm -hmm. so otherwise, the inflammation will, will would be con would continue building up until it starts showing as 
the inflammatory area that may begin swelling because by trying to compensate uh, introducing the liquids to cool down the process and is there a solution you already mentioned that nowadays um, uh, the modern medicine is desperately looking for solutions and um, not finding very successful not very uh, successful so solution what is being regulated by uh, regular medical practices is the response of the body to the uh, presence of the allergen uh, and that response is being regulated by uh, immune system being suppressed uh, you know some hormones are introduced in order to suppress the immune reaction however this is the uh, this is the other way of doing the things correctly. Of course, you know, initially we would like to pacify the area, for example, or just inflammation, especially it's flaring up and bringing about too much suffering to the person, then we would like to reduce that, you know, by whatever means possible, even if we have to modulate uh, naturally, I'm talking about mm -hmm. naturally. In mm -hmm. our realm, we do everything naturally. And this is what, you know, the oriental therapies are actually based on the cleansing of the pollution this mm -hmm. is at the baseline of of uh, it should be at the baseline of any therapy eastern oriental or western um can we please talk about uh this specific solution the fucus by jelly right yes um, and uh, and mm -hmm. how how it, it can help we know it's an amazing product but can you please explain how specifically it works sure it sure, sure i take a special pleasure talking about this product because I personally like it. It's, it's a wonderful product. It actually exceeded all my expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, when I knew about the product and I was researching a lot about Fucus, uh, and then when I got it, it really resonated and it went beyond my expectations. So uh, this pro product would probably be the easiest uh, way, very practical to get rid of the inflammation step by step, little by little, without really changing much even though that's very helpful to change things, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in just, you know, on top of taking this, of course, but uh, this product uh, does miracles, uh, removing the inflammation from the intestinal uh, tract, from the gastrointestinal tract, uh, by introducing uh, specific compounds that it possesses, like alginic acids and fucoidins, fucose, uh, that actually feeds the uh, the positive strand of our uh, antibiotic, um, you know, the good bacteria. Uh, it provides uh, very good nutrition, the fucose, mm -hmm. the polysaccharide, the dietary uh, fiber, which is the top line of prebiotic minerals in the ionic form, in organic form, the best minerals that can actually be available there, you know, the minerals that our body really needs. Uh, and uh, for raw foodists, for example, the interesting aspect is that this is the prana, prana-based uh, uh, mm -hmm. elements. So yes. this is like, you know, unique And for all elements. the yogis out there, yes. you know what that means, if you yes. Want, if you want minerals, <laughs> we, uh, we provide them in a pranic form. The organic mm -hmm. minerals, they neutralize the acidic environment because minerals and elements, they are uh, alkaline-based and you know, they, they produce the alkaline mm -hmm. reaction and this uh, how the chances for inflammation are greatly remo uh, mm -hmm. removed. Okay, uh, wonderful. So uh, of uh, the four available uh, flavors that also have a specific uh, targeted functional um, mm -hmm. meaning and purpose, mm -hmm. yes, uh, what would you recommend for uh, reducing inflammation? Sure, sure, yes. Uh, for those people who have inflammation pretty high and they flare mm -hmm. up and they respond to like a lot of uh, allergens or substances out including there. Including fruit and including berries. Including fruit, mm -hmm. berries, things like that. I would definitely recommend the original one, which is, mm -hmm. uh, we call it Yotsi. Mm -hmm. And that is the that, that's the original form of bladderwrack. It does not have any other ingredients. Mm -hmm. That's the pure bladderwrack, and uh, for for anybody who considers taking the seaweed but uh, has doubts about uh, having other you know, ingredients mm -hmm. or other foods, uh, this is the product to go mm -hmm. for. It's so this also pure just uh, bladderwrack and purified water. And purified mm -hmm. water. It does okay. not have any fruit or berries uh, adding uh, additives to it, mm -hmm. um, and this is the best product. Then it makes the best product for people who are on keto. 
nutrition. Mm -hmm. so okay, so this is keto, keto friendly people, as yes. well. Okay. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, these do have uh, berries mm -hmm. uh, and uh, and uh, fruit. So for uh, people with the uh, intestinal inflammation, gas okay. gastro product would be the best one. Okay. That has the prune. It's the based on prune. It's this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, and those two types would be the best ones for inflammation. Mm -hmm. uh, and those people who do not have a flare, uh, that happens that easily, uh, then they can go with the detox. Detox mm -hmm. is the further step to reduce the inflammation mm -hmm. and to further cleanse. So okay. if we were to start with just the original one initially, and once we go like two months uh, into into the course, we check if the um, you know, if the re reaction is still present to mm -hmm. those specific substances and if that e reaction is reduced then we can go on detox and, you know, intensify the detox mm -hmm. effect. So, mm -hmm. how would you recommend to take this jelly? Because it's in the jelly form, yes, uh, very, jelly. very smooth. Very smooth. Okay. It's and like you feel the molecules, you know. Mm -hmm. Dispersing so, disperse in your mouth, really. Yeah, so this is actually so molecular smooth. molecular uh, nutrition yeah, or molecular functional mm -hmm. uh, nutrition, or, which mm -hmm. we will talk about in the in a different video. Yes. Of yes so, mm -hmm. what is your recommendation for uh, taking the uh, ficus by a jelly to reduce inflammation? Right. The therapeutic way of taking mm -hmm. the jelly would be once a day on an empty stomach in the morning after taking after having a warm lemon water. Mm -hmm. so one mm -hmm. warm lemon water. Or without the lemon if somebody is uh, or, very allergic or, to yes, it. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Or just like warm water, two tablespoons, you take that uh, mm -hmm. on an empty stomach, right mm -hmm. at once. Just with a spoon. Just with a spoon. Mm -hmm. If you tolerate it, you just take it straight mm -hmm. uh, and then eat it and uh, mm -hmm. swallow it. Um, but people who like different tastes are welcome to mix it with their morning juice, mm -hmm. whether fruit or Mm -hmm. or, or a smoothie, yes, or whatever, smoothie. whatever you tolerate, or yes. Smoothie, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the taste is actually very pleasant, especially mm -hmm. if we are talking about um, gastro or uh, detox. Uh, the taste is very pleasant, ki kind of a little bit on the sweeter side. Uh, but Yotsi is uh, pure seaweed, so for somebody who, for whom it is an acquired taste, take it with uh, your juice of uh, or smoothie of choice. Mm -hmm. And then we also have complex, and the mm -hmm. complex is apricot based, and apricot is a good one for heart health mm -hmm. and for diabetes. Yes. And so, mm -hmm. and it's more nourishing versus detoxing. Got it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we will do a separate video on that as well of because course. we have a lot of questions. Yes. Um, okay. So, um, so once a day, two tablespoons. In the morning, um, on, in the morning stomach, on an empty stomach. May to, chase with the fruit or vegetable juice or a smoothie. Yes, to, to make sure that we feed our good bacteria. Yes, and that so will the, feed us then. Yes, mm -hmm. that will feed That's us then. So mm -hmm. this way the good bacteria, because we have the good and the bad bacteria. So uh, once we feed the good bacteria with this wonderful uh, jelly, first thing in the morning, it multiplies. Yeah. Therefore, the bad bacteria diminish. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a great way to reduce inflammation. How soon uh, do people usually see the results? Because I know it's not immediate because it's a natural product. Right. And anything natural takes time, right. which, is, which makes sense. Of course. It's intended by Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Well, in our case, uh, it may or may not take that long time, mm -hmm. but it really depends on uh, how the individual is saturated with minerals. If they're too depleted and uh, and are like you know like an el more like elderly individuals mm -hmm. will be more depleted with minerals. Mm -hmm. So the saturation and time, serious health conditions. yeah, yes, saturation mm -hmm. time may take uh, you know like a little longer period mm -hmm. versus people up to who several are, months. Up right. to several months, mm -hmm. it may take three to four months, mm -hmm. you know, to saturate people who are like drastically depleted mm -hmm. of minerals. Uh, but people who, uh, on the other side, mm -hmm. are not that active, young, young adults, mm -hmm. especially young adults or kids, or kids, mm -hmm. um, well, uh, they will saturate uh, sooner, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us today. It's been our pleasure to talk to you about uh, inflammation, what causes it, and our solution to inflammation. Please join us for our upcoming videos and in the comments, please let us know what you would like us to talk about next. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. -bye.